Hello everyone, so today we will proceed with our uh, cleanup and uh, fix this tutorial series. So yeah, let's move under mesh cleanup tool, under the mesh, under optimize, where is that cleanup, so press square. Great, so let's reset everything and in short, first this area, cleanup effect. You have two operations, clean up by Maya, I mean Maya will try to fix it when you will press OK button, uh, apply button or a clean up button. So you have two options or it can be done by Maya or just selection in order to indicate the area which has a problem. My advice is just select uh, matching polygons in order to troubleshoot manually you have as well apply only on selected objects this operation or on all objects yeah and keep constructing the history or not okay so let's move to the fix by tessellation yeah so basically what kind of issues we'll try to indicate okay so we can select can select all faces which has four sides yeah so let's press it great all these guys have four let's say faces uh four sided faces yeah in here we have a triangle and in here we have some kind of other issue you see a vertex point yeah great let's go to a second one and uh issues with more than one face let's select select it and select the mesh just press it and as you can see these guys has more than four faces great concave face let's press it again we have a concave faces uh, okay let's try to do it in short what is all about we have as you can see quad yeah perfectly perfect quad but when the quad have uh, some kind of it's it's becoming almost three angle yeah and if we'll go inside and we will try to smooth it let's try to go even more you can see this issue then uh, it cannot handle on a smooth preview it's the same situation here so um yeah you have a quad but it's a concave yeah concave face great so let's move to the face move a hole so basically yeah we have a face and in that face we have a hole and we don't have you know a connection in here for example lines anything yeah so if we will select face with hole let's select you can see that face will be selected we will try to fix it see it will be triangulated okay and definitely it will be easier you know just to delete your faces and that's it okay so let's move to the non-planar faces uh, the quads uh, i mean the faces in most cases should be planar yeah but sometimes when you're modeling you can go in such situation and uh, definitely you can just create a let's say whoopsie free angle in here in here and that's it and you will fix that issue and uh, you can create in here those something like that yeah in order to get the quad however if this is an issue for you and your engine cannot handle it just go to the non-planar faces selection and Maya will indicate it awesome so we can go to the remove the geometry tab yeah so laminar faces you can go on the selection i mean and just 
remove the lamina faces. So let's create first of all lamina faces and understand what the hell that mean. So I will duplicate the mesh and I will add it on top. Yeah, I will go and combine them and merge vertices. From vertex points, it's looking that everything is cool. However, if you will check on the faces, we have eight instead of four. This is some kind of problem. What if I will try to smooth it? it looks like it doesn't work. Some kind of issue. Yeah. Let's try to bring up. Everything is looking fine. Okay, so what I can do, just select lamina faces. Um, and this is explanation faces sharing all the edges. Yeah. Let's do a cleanup in this case. Select the object. You see, four faces only. And then nine vertex points. So basically, we don't have that uh, second face. Glue it or stick it to the same geometry. Okay, what's next? Non manifold geometry. This is geometry which cannot be unfold, let's say. Yeah. So with a free button, I can indicate that something is working in here, something in here. So um, let's try to do something similar. For example, if you will extrude the edge from the, this shape, yeah, you don't have a second edge in order to get the cube, yeah, only edge extruded. And then uh, definitely it won't be properly uh, unfolded or this is the reason non-foldable geometry so yeah you need to deattach it or let's say extract it yeah and that's it okay so in that manner that geometry will be fixed okay let's undo a few times let's check it we will select only non-manifold geometry Okay, we have a indication, same in here, let's select it. You see, these points are shown, in here are not. But, what we can indicate that this edge was extruded, we have additional uh, let's say vertices or something like that okay so how how to solve it let's do cleanup boom you see all these guys the attached will be the same thing for this one we'll select that face and uh, as an object they are combined however from the face perspective you can see that it's deattached so you can extract it simply like that yeah okay so edge with zero length Definitely, you can select the mesh, press F or uh, press free button in order to smooth preview. And as you can see, we have something in here. We have a, a indication that we have additional edges, but in here we cannot see that. So just do selection. You can select the let's say tolerance yeah and you will get indication once you clean up you clean up 
let's press free in order to smooth preview as you can see everything is fixed so basically this is it this is a area of tolerance but in general this is a cleanup option and cleanup tool for maya thank you and goodbye